Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name's Arlen, and today we're going to be doing something really exciting to me, and that is I'm going to be ranking Ranger's Apprentice books. The reason I thought of doing this was because I'm actually going to reread this series soon, and so I thought it would be cool to like rank them before I reread them, and then rank them again after and see if my thoughts or opinions change. Also, little just disclaimer here, it's not really a disclaimer, but this does not contain anything from any of his other series, such as Brother Band, but it does contain the first Royal Ranger book because it was actually originally published as the 12th Ranger's Apprentice book. But yeah, so we're gonna include the 12 Ranger's Apprentice books and nothing else because first of all, I've only read the first Brother Band book and I've only read like half of the second Royal Ranger book and I have not read any of the early years books, but I'm honestly really excited to read those. I might read them after or before, probably after I reread Ranger's Apprentice. We'll see. I'm really excited about that though. So I think without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to rank it basically from 12th place to first place. I'm not going to say worst to first because I feel like saying worst is just not, I don't like saying worst when it comes to Ranger's Apprentice books. So that's how we're going to do this video. Starting off with number 12 in the Ranger's Apprentice series. Number 12, in my opinion, the worst one, but still good, I still love it, of course, is The Royal Ranger. I, I was about to say The Royal Ranger by John Flanagan, but no, okay, so this is my, in my opinion, number 12. And like I said, I still really liked it because it has some of the same characters. It's still, I mean, it's still Ranger's Apprentice and it's still really good, but don't get me wrong, like, it's not bad. It was my least favorite because I don't like Maddie, and she's the main character of this, so and maybe she gets better in the other books. I'm not giving up on the Royal Ranger series. I just haven't finished it yet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like I said, reread the Ranger's Apprentice books and then go on to the Royal Ranger series and the early years and Brother Band. I actually really like the Brother Band series. So the first book was very good. It it just, it was a happy book. <laughs> it made me feel good reading it. It was just wholesome. I loved it. Like I was saying, it was originally published as the 12th Ranger's Apprentice book but now it's separated into a different series. I actually, I will give it points because I really like the first chapter. I'm pretty sure it was the first chapter where it made you think that it was Hulk because the way it described him. And then at the very end, it was like, said Will Shreedy or something. And I was so confused when I read that first time. I was like, oh, did it say there was like another ranger right by Hulk or something? But no, I read it. I reread that chapter like three times and I was like, wait. And I literally gasped. I was like, wait, that's Will in the future um okay it, it made me gasp i really love that first chapter it was really good i loved it so yep this is number 12 book number 12 is number 12 in my opinion okay next up in 11th place we have number 11 book book number 11 the lost stories by John Flanagan. And I really like this book, but the reason it's number 11 is because the other books, there's like a continuous story, but not really. Like, just, it was the main story, basically. And this book is a bunch of different short stories combined. And I really like this book. It was really good. Um, don't get me wrong, but, um, I generally liked the other books better because they were the actual story and this is just kind of like it felt like a side story kind of stuff but which doesn't really make sense because a lot of things happen in this book like very important things but then again i don't really know why i just liked the other books more and this one was really good in general just number 11 in my opinion so number 12 is book number 12 number 11 is book number 11 let's see what number 10 is and 10th place is the sorcerer of the north by john flanagan i don't remember as well as i could with the fifth sixth eighth and ninth book i kind of get kind of confused i don't really know if these were what i thought of them when i was reading them or if they are now because like the fifth and sixth book i have a little trouble differentiating with and the eighth and ninth book i also have trouble differentiating with so i don't really know if this is the exact order between these four books but i think it is so this one i think is number 10 i'm gonna go with this because it i re i did like it and i think i i like it better thinking back on it and i feel like when i reread them i'm gonna like it better but i didn't like it as much because and this is a fundamental reason okay this is the reason i didn't like it as much because it was about alice instead of evan lynn okay like if it were about evan lynn 
instead of Alice, I would have, it would have been good. It would have been, it would have been great. But instead, not only was the main character Evan Lynn, and not only was there like a love thing going on between Will and Alice, but Evan Lynn wasn't in it hardly at all. I don't think she was in this book at all. The only time that her, the only time she was in it was when her name was mentioned. And that's it between like Will and Horace. Her name was mentioned like once or twice. That's it. It was very sad. I, I'm sad I because I if you guys don't know I'm I love Evan Lynn and I really ship Will and Evan Lynn they were supposed to get together spoiler so if you want to skip like 10 seconds just skip 10 seconds Will and Evan Lynn were supposed to get together okay not Will and Alice okay so with that said I think this is number 10 let's go on to number nine okay so number nine we have the clay <laughs> Okay, The Kings of Clonmel. So The Kings of Clonmel is number eight in the Ranger's Apprentice series. I don't know. I just, like I said, I have trouble differentiating this one with Halt's Peril. I do think I remember liking Halt's Peril a little better than this one, possibly. So this one was good. I still liked it, but I feel like I don't remember what happened in it as much. I feel like they were just trying to get a king. Wait, no. Oh, wait. wait. Okay. Wait. Is this the one with, wait, whoa, 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 Tennyson? T this is the one with Tennyson, isn't it? Oh, okay, I remember this one a little more now. So this was the one where they were like, there was a religious tribe and they were trying to overthrow, or they were doing something bad. It, no, a cult, it was a cult. And they were trying to like steal people's riches and stuff. I remember this one more now. Okay, so this is number eight because, pretty much just because I like the other ones better. I still love this one, but I'm pretty sure that I think I didn't like it as much as the other ones because Evan Lynn, not only was Evan Lynn not in it as much at all, or I don't think, she, I don't think she was in this book really. Not only was Evan Lynn not in it, but Alice wasn't in it either. And like, I want a girl in there. Like, I would prefer Alice being in there than no girl because I wanted it to advance the Will and Evan Lynn. But since there was no Evan Lynn, they couldn't really advance. That's, I feel like, why this really is primarily that. If there was Evan Lynn in it, it might be a little better, but overall, the story was good. It wasn't as good as some of the other ones, I feel like. Book number eight is number nine. Okay, so next up, in eighth place, we have book number nine, Halt's Peril. I feel like I don't know what happens in this book that didn't happen in the eighth book because I'm pretty sure it's still about the cult. I can't really differentiate it. The only thing that I'm going off of why this one's a little better is because I just remember, I feel like I remember a tiny memory in the back of my mind remembering that this one was a little better than the other one, but that's that's the only reason why. So Halt's Peril is in number eighth place. Is in number eighth place. Halt's Peril is number eight. Okay, that's better. In seventh place, we have The Siege of Malkindaw. Malkindaw? Malsindaw? Okay. I pronounced it Malsindaw. Wait, no. Malkindaw. The Siege of Malkindaw is book number six. This is basically the continuous story from book number five. I can differentiate this one a little bit more than the fifth one that I can the eighth and ninth one, but I still am having trouble, like, differentiating it. Okay, so I remember this one actually being pretty good, like, and not that the other ones are bad. I'm just saying this one was actually good like I really liked it even though it was about Will and Alice kind of but and there was still no absolutely no Evan Lynn but um I still actually was intrigued and I think I think I remember liking this one quite a bit more than the fifth one even though the fifth one was still good I think this one had more to do with actually winning instead of just a like a build-up kind of I think this one's more conclusional than the fifth one because the fifth one's kind of just build up because the fifth one and this one are just like a continuous story but the fifth one is kind of build up things happen and then this one is like where the battle or so I say the siege happens and I also remember Sir Rodney wait no wait what was his name Who's Karen? Who is Karen? What? Okay, I don't remember, but the sorcerer, the sorcerer healer guy, he was in this more, I think, and also the giant. Wait, what? Would, I have to look. I have to see. What is his name? Malcolm. It was Malcolm. His name is Malcolm. So Malcolm, I remember that. Malcolm was in this book more, I think, than he was in the other one, unless that's completely opposite. I think it was this one. So he's in this book more. He's okay. I like him. The giant was also in this one as well, like the other one. And those two characters are good. So yep, I don't know if I have- why did I just- did I just throw this? But this is number seven, 
and I really, really love it. Now we're getting into my absolute favorite Reindeer's Apprentice books because, I don't know, six and up is just kind of like halfway through. So these are my favorites. My sixth favorite Reindeer's Apprentice book. <sighs> The Ruins of Gorlin, book number one. This one is just so good because it's the beginning of everything. It's the beginning of my life. It's the beginning of the story. It's the beginning of the characters. It's the beginning of the world. It's the beginning of like, oh, this whole new concept. Like when you turn 15, you got to find out if you're a ranger or a knight, diplomat squire cook stuff like that it's it's so good and i have friends who actually say this is their least favorite book but in my opinion it's it's not boring like some first books some first books are boring and then when you get to the other books in the series you're like well this is good <laughs> and you're like oh i was about to give up on the series when i read the first one but this is actually really good not with this book this book is actually so good and i really really loved it and that's why it's sixth place and you may be wondering well if you loved it that much why isn't it first place and that's because i love every book in the series but some of them are even better than this one plus it's also like you get to meet the characters for the first time and that is so special because that's like the book that got me into reading all right so in fifth place which i feel like this is a very big hallmark fifth place we have the burning bridge Book number two in the Ranger's Apprentice series. This book is so good. I love this book because I remember reading this pretty much right after I finished the first one. I remember getting this for my birthday and I started reading it after I finished the other one. I remember finishing, for some reason, I remember the exact number. I remember finishing this book in two weeks because that's what I do when I read favorite books of mine. I just remember how long it took me to read them and when I read them. But like I was saying, Ranger's Apprentice, The Burning Bridge is so good. Another reason I very much like it, if you've read it, you probably can guess, is because it introduces the amazing Evan Lynn. Evelyn Cassandra, it introduced her, and she is my favorite character. Tied with Caldwell and a horse, and also I like Gillen, and also I like Crowley, and I also like, uh, I also, I mean, Alice is okay, I don't really like her that much, but I also kind of like Ginny, she's not my favorite, but you know. And George is barely mentioned, then he's just randomly in book 10. But anyway, The Burning Bridge is very good because Horace, Will, and Evan Lynn, the triangle. And let's not forget Gillen, okay? He's in it as well. He's, uh, apparently the handsome ranger. Whew. I'm kind of a mess right now. Okay, so it's actually two days later, which, like, <laughs> it's two days later. My camera died, and I'm just now getting to filming this. And I actually did my fourth and third favorite one, but, like, apparently it wasn't recording because it died. So that was sad. But we just have to redo that part. But anyway, I think we were on to my fourth favorite Ranger's Apprentice book, the fifth being The Burning Bridge. So, without further ado, my fifth favorite Ranger's Apprentice book is The Emperor of Nihonja. I dearly hope I pronounced that right. The Emperor of Nihonja is my fourth favorite Ranger's Apprentice book, and it it's so good. Like, I remember when I was reading the Ranger's Apprentice books, this was actually my, like, I had three that were my main favorites, and this was one of them, but unfortunately, um, now that I'm looking back on it, I actually switched places with this one and the book that is now in third place, so... This would have been third place if I, you had caught me at a time when I was in the middle of reading them. And I think the reason I really like this book is because it has all of the characters in it, I think. It has Will, Halt, Horace, Evan Lynn, Alice, and there's really good characters introduced in here that I really love. And I just really like what happens in it. I think it's really cool. I love the place they're in. I wasn't lying when I said everyone was in this book. George is in this book. Yes, you remember him, George from book one. Sure, he's you know, not in it that much at all. He's only in like the beginning, but he's still in it. I told you, I everyone's in this book. I think it's a reason that I mainly like this book tied with the story because I really like the emperor himself. I really like, like I said, I really like the land and stuff. I like the plot. Pretty much I like everything. So this is my fourth favorite one. Let's get on to the one that replaced it. My third favorite Ranger's Apprentice book. Ranger's Apprentice, book three. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that. And that was book 10, The Emperor of Nihonja, in case you did not know. That was book 10. So, my third favorite Ranger's Apprentice book ever is this one, The Icebound Land, book three. And it, like I said, this one, okay, it bumped up a little bit, even though it was already kind of in the top tier. But I really love this one because I just really love the whole idea, the whole Will and Evan Lynn being together the whole time. I really like, I don't know, like, this may sound weird, but I think the whole, like, him getting 
the wormweed and then her having to like kind of save him was really interesting and i really liked reading it. i really liked when they were at the cabin and had to escape and how eric was in it and eric i really love eric he's a really good character i really like him he's funny he's cool he lets them escape and i really like how it shows how evan lynn is a really strong protagonist because she rescues herself and will crazy will in this book also i forgot to mention this is the one where she tells will that she's a princess and not a servant and that her name is cassandra instead of evan lynn so that was really fun and this is also the one where halt and horace are trying to rescue them and save them so i really like that the dynamic is beautiful so this is my third one uh like i said i kind of talked about this a lot but then it ended up not saving so i kind of feel like i'm not talking about it that much that's just because i just talked about it and i don't know what to say i feel like i'm just repeating myself but no i'm not this is my third favorite one it's so good i love it so much okay now we're on to the top two there's a chance that you might have already seen one of my videos where i say my favorite ranger apprentice book if so it didn't change so let's get on to book number two my second favorite ranger apprentice book is eric's ransom by john flanagan this one the emperor of nihonja and the one that's the only one left which you if you know you know this one is book seven and it is a lot about eric as you might be able to tell from the title it's a lot about eric but also it has evan lynn in it with will with horace with this new desert tribe guy trying to rescue eric it has a really cool story sorry if anybody here likes alice as a favorite character or just with will but i also kind of like the fact that alice isn't in it as much i also really like the fact that evan lynn is in it and not alice i remember near the beginning when they were like choosing who would go on the mission evan lynn was gonna go and i was like yes and then alice was like i want to go too or something like that I, I was actually scared i was like no no don't ruin this will and evan lynn they need to get together but then lady polly like stopped her and then she didn't end up going oh which i was so happy about this is my second favorite one let's get on to my favorite ranger's apprentice book out of the whole series okay here we go My favorite Ranger's Apprentice book is Ranger's Apprentice Book 4, The Battle for Scandia. This is my all-time favorite. When I read it, I loved it. When I didn't read it, I loved it. When I'm not reading it right now, I'm loving it. The Battle for Scandia is so good. And I I really like the battle. I really like the beginning when they rescue them. Uh, the ending is a little sad. I ended up rereading the last chapter like a hundred times because I was like, what? This was not the end, bro. This is book four. I knew there were 12 books. So I was like, okay, what's gonna happen? This is not the end of them. I like the fact, of course, like I have to mention this every time. I love the fact that Evan Lynn is in it. And I love the fact that Will and Horace are in it with Halt and Eric. Like, you can't get better. Also, let's not forget to uh, mention the fact that Alice isn't in it that much, but we don't have to mention that, okay? So this book was the best one for me also because it's like the one where I feel like Will and Evan Lynn, I thought we're gonna get together. The whole book, I was like, you're right, you're right there. Like, you know, like I thought they were gonna get together or at least say they were going to get together something was going to happen with them but the thing is like i've said in a previous video i wanted in the end will to get with evan lynn instead of horace but i wanted horace to like i didn't just want it to be like really quick and easy i wanted it to be like there was like a love triangle you know what i mean they both wanted her but in the end in the absolute end i wanted her to get with will she had to get with will i want her to get with will so this is my favorite one of all time i love it so much i remember reading I remember, so I wasn't reading as much when I was reading the Ranger's Apprentice series, but I remember reading 16 chapters in one day. I don't know if that's a lot, but it felt like a lot to me back then. Like, I specifically remember reading 16 chapters in one day, and then the next day reading 15 for some reason. I just remember that. Huh. But anyway, yep, this is my favorite book, The Battle for Scandia. Also, I feel like I can't end this video without mentioning this. So this isn't really real. It's, like, kind of real. It's, you know, like not real but it is real at the same time this is a dagger i got i don't even know where i forgot it from but i engraved it with a quote if you can see that if you can read it i don't know if you can read it but it says not bad isn't good enough not bad can get you killed will 
Will said that in the Royal Ranger. I was like deciding which quote I wanted to go on here. And then I just decided on this because I don't know. I felt like, I feel like a dagger would be good with that because if you're not good with a dagger, then you might get killed, basically. It will get you killed if you're not good enough with a dagger in fights. So I felt like it just matched it. It also came with a sheath, but I lost it. I lost the sheath. At least I didn't lose the dagger though. Okay, so those were my rankings of the Ranger's Apprentice books. This was one of my favorite videos to film because I just love talking about Ranger's Apprentice so much. But anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in my future videos. I'm definitely gonna do more Ranger's Apprentice content videos and also other content videos and we'll see what my next video is. It might be, I don't know what it will be, but we'll see and I will I will, will treaty, see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.